question number 7. The diagram function of a curve, so they gave you the gradient, sorry, not diagram, the gradient function. So gradient function means what? dy dx, right? So that means, okay, question A, yeah. That, wait, before that, they give you the gradient function and then they say the curve passes through this point, negative 2 and negative 7. So question A is asking to find the equation of the curve. So since you have dy dx, dy dx equals to 2x minus 2. So if you want to find the curve, the equation of the curve, so that means you're looking for y. So you have to integrate this. Okay? You have to integrate. So in integrate, you get 2x squared over 2 minus 2x plus c. So you get x squared minus 2x plus c. But how do you find c? You have to substitute this point here. So the point given is negative 2 and negative 7. So we're going to substitute. So negative 7 equals to negative 2 squared plus, eh, sorry, it's minus minus 2, negative 2, plus c. So, negative two, 7 equals to 4, plus 4, plus c. So, from here, we know that c is equals to negative 15. Okay? So, our equation is going to be y equals to x square minus 2x minus 15. Okay? This is the answer. Question B, if curve, if the curve moves one unit to the left, find the new equation of the curve. Hence, find the volume, so they ask for volume, of the, uh, in terms of pi, when the region bounded by the curve and the x-axis, so it is revolving around the x-axis. So it revolved by 180 degree, oh wait a minute, um, Oh, sorry, sorry, they said uh, revolve around y-axis. But they are saying the, the region is bounded by the curve and the x-axis and revolve around y-axis, okay. So wait, before that, we want to first uh, find the, the first part here. They asked to find the curve. If it moves one, you need to the left. So if, it's, if it moves one, you need to the left, right? Okay, there are a few ways you can solve this. Whenever they say they move one unit to the left. Now, if it's moving to the left, so the x value is going to change, right? So, if it's moving to the left, it is it is x plus 1, okay? One unit to the left. If it's two units to the left, then x plus 2. If it's moving to the right, then it's x minus, either minus 1 or minus 2, depends on the question. So, now you're moving... To the left so x plus 1 so what are you going to do with x plus 1 you're going to substitute into your original equation substitute in all the x value so your original is x square minus 2x minus 15 so you're going to substitute x plus 1 so x plus 1 square minus 2 x plus 1 minus 15 so that means all the x value here you're going to substitute with a new x value which is x plus 1 so you're going to get x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 2x minus 2 minus 15. Okay, let me scroll down here. So what you will get is x squared. So here x, you can cancel it. So you are only left with 15, so minus 16. Okay, so this is your answer so this is method one okay this is the first way you can use the second way you can do okay let me write here this is method one you got another way i can show you all method two method two is by using completing the square you see you have already found your um, new equation right your new equation is y equals to x square minus 2x minus 15. now you can use completing the square to solve this you, you to change this so you change it when you use completing the square you will get uh, x minus 1 square minus 16 okay so I'm not going to do the whole thing huh? this is how you use how you, you just do completing the square 
you will get this answer. From here, you can find your minimum point, right? Because this is a quadratic and it's a positive quadratic, so it's going to be a U shape. Okay, so the minimum point is what? 1, negative 16, right? 1, negative 16. So now you're going to shift one unit to the left. One unit to the left. That's what the question is saying. One unit to the left. So if you move one unit to the left, what is your new minimum point? Your new minimum point is going to be 0, negative 16. Correct? So that means your new equation is going to be y equals to x. Now here is 0, right? So it's minus 0 square. So you don't have to write minus 0, right? So here, minus 16. So you don't have to write minus 0. You get x squared minus 16. So you still get the same answer here. Okay? This is the second way. The third way, which you can also do if you want to. I'm going to show you all here. You all decide which one is easier for you. Okay? So the third method is by finding the... You can factorize. Find the intercept. Okay? So this method here is using... Completing the square. This one is using intercept. Okay. The intercept is like this. So first you got this equation. X square minus 2X minus 15. So you can factorize this. Right. You want to find the intercept. So Y equals to 0. So you your intercept will be. Here will be X minus 5. X plus 3. So your intercept is going to be 5 and negative 3. So if it's 5 and negative 3, and then you're going to shift 1 unit to the left. So what is your new x value? Your new x is going to be 4 and negative 4, correct? So that means your new equation is going to be x plus 4, x minus 4. So you expand this, you will also get x squared minus 16. Okay? So these three methods will give you the answer. First one is you just substitute x plus 1 because you're shifting to the left. Second way is to do completing the square, find the minimum point, and then find the new minimum point, then substitute back into the equation. The third one is find the intercept, then shift one unit to the left, find the new x value, the new intercept, and then find the equation. Okay, all three methods will give you the answer. Clear? So now, you have already gotten your um, equation of the new curve. So now the question is asking you to find the volume. Okay, let me write here. So volume, what's the formula of the volume? Volume is pi square root. It's uh, on the y-axis, right? So it's x square dy. Okay, this is the volume. So, okay, let me just redraw this, huh? The equation is x square minus 16, right? That's your new equation. So that means your x-intercept equals to negative 4 and 4. So it's a U-shape. Okay? It's going to be like this. Okay? So now they said that it's going to be um, the curve bound by... Okay, bound by the curve and the x-axis. So here... And here, and okay, let me draw here x axis and the curve bound bound by the y axis. Uh, sorry, uh, re revolve around the y axis by 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees since you got two sides here. So, when you sh when you move 180 degrees, you actually get a like a bowl shape. Lah. Okay, you're gonna get this. Okay, so. We are going to, okay, let's do this together. So, pi. So, the range is going to be what? From from where to where? Okay, let's see. Uh, here is 0. Because you're on the y-axis, right? So, what is the y value here? So, here, if you want to find this, the x value equals to 0, right? So, x value equals 0, y equals to 16. So, that means here is 16. Negative 16, sorry. Okay. y equals to negative 16. So your range is going to be from negative 16 to 0, okay? And then the x square, x square is equals to y plus 16 dy. 
So you integrate this, you get y square over 2 plus 16y and then 0, negative 16. Substitute, you should get um, 0, you will get 0, minus negative 1, 2, 8. So your answer is 1, 2, 8 pi. This is volume, right? So it's unit cube. Okay, so your answer is this.